Woodley Park now. So uh, Supercar was good. That was a good show. It is a good show. Yep. And now uh, we drove over to uh, Woodley, and this is a massive grassy area with lots of Italian and French cars, basically. But there's like nothing right there. Hey, look. I think that's a peerless. You think it is? most shows, uh, it's important to recognize an opportunity when you see one. And I did. Yeah. Uh, Paul bought a, uh, a crank. Yes, it's a crank for a Fiat Dino. Yeah, which you don't have. Which I don't have and I'm never going to it, right. but I got a great deal on it. Yeah, and it's a good paperweight. So It's going to make a terrific lamp. I have a friend who has one made out of a Porsche crank, Uh huh. and now I will be able to walk in the same neighborhood as him. Do you have to crank it to turn it on? No, you don't.
been a couple hours since we did the shows with Paul, went back to the house, had some lunch, crashed a little bit, and now I'm in the 2018 Hyundai Sonata, the hybrid. Can you hear it? It's kind of quiet. I'm going back up into town, I'm gonna pick up Paul, we're gonna take this car this time, and we're gonna go up to the Murphy Museum up in Oxnard because they're having the, the garage sale. Uh, they're getting rid of a lot of uh, stuff out of the garage for a very good reason. But still, I can't mention what it is yet. I have not been given the green light, but it's going to be coming soon. There's a lot of people in town. Let's see how this goes. Mr. Grisanti, howdy. Uh, head north in this Hyundai Sonata hybrid. Quiet, kind of quiet, huh? It's very quiet. Is it a hybrid or is it an electric car? It is a hybrid. Uh, we we may be in electric mode right now. I don't know. Well, we have. Uh, it says that it there's a forth. gas gauge, so it must be a gasoline car. It says we have a range of 462 miles. Yeah, and I've been driving it for like the last few days. So, that's so I'm still... guessing the gas gauge is. It says it's half full. No, it's three quarters. Full. Yeah, we've got plenty. Uh, the garage sale, what are you looking for? Well, I thought it would be really interesting since they're gonna have train things, if they have anything that's N scale or Z scale, which are two sm small and, and tiny gauges. Does, does your wife know that you're collecting uh, trains and um, cranks? My wife knows nothing about the crank that I purchased earlier, but I think she'll be okay with it. The trains have been She's calling right now. He's, yeah. in, he's in trouble. idea what that is but that's cool where'd Paul go Miller's drag cartoons. Nice. I had these when I was a kid, and now I can have them again. <laughs> uh, garage sale today. Yes. You yes. guys have done very well with that. So over the years, we've had things donated to us, and uh, this is the second time we've done a garage sale. 
But this year we have some really, really cool stuff, some sun diagnostic machines, some things from Andy Grinatelli. And we've done uh, pretty good today. And right. we're going to have uh, a similar thing going on at our Chevy show in a couple of weeks. That's what so I'm asking. Leftover about. So, stuff. So all, a lot of this stuff that didn't sell, and there's still a lot of stuff out there. Correct. Is going to be available uh, for the Chevrolet show. Mm -hmm. What date is that? Oh, I knew you'd ask that. November 17th, I think. We better okay. double check. We'll confirm that. Yeah, yeah. Yep. But uh, if you have a Chevy, bring it up for the day. Okay. And we're going to have an open house uh, for the museum to see the cool cars as well as uh, the garage. It is the 17th because Wilson Wife's is the 18th. Perfect. Okay. So now you got your, your weekend filled. There you go. Come up this. here on Saturday and go to Malibu on Sunday. There and then go. this little fella right here is going to be a both. <laughs> oh, God. That was a really big day for cars. There's some really amazing stories. There's no way to be able to cover all of them on the blog. But if you have an interesting one and you want to invite us to, to one of your shows, then do that. We will certainly do our best. But I hope that you know I get invited to a lot of shows, a lot of different places, and it's very hard to juggle because all of them are good and all of them are, are great people. Uh, I love you guys. I love coming to meet you guys. I love hanging out with you and I love hearing your stories. But there's a lot, man. Seriously, there's a lot. All right, we got a lot of stuff that's coming up, a lot of things that are happening here uh, on the vlog, a lot of juggling going on. We got wheels and waves that's going to be happening on the November 18th right after the Chevy show at the Murphy, which you got to do both because they're both going to be spectacular. Just a day or two, we got Patrick Kilpatrick. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, this is his new book, Dying for Living. Uh, he's an actor. He's been a bad guy in Hollywood for a lot of years, but uh, he's also done a lot of other stuff. Really great guy. We're going to meet him. We're going to be driving in his Jag and we're going to get his story. Kathy has just started working on the next Ellen DeGeneres project, which is for Christmas. Once again, uh, it's going to be a mascot. I, I can't say what it is exactly, but for the past four years, it's been a reindeer. It could be another one. It could be something else. I don't know. And the last thing, we got the Corvette coloring book that's coming down the pike, man. It's not that far away. Less than a month. I'm working on the sketches, getting that thing to you guys. If you love Corvettes, you're going to dig this book. You're going to love it. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Be sure, if you haven't, hit the subscribe button or go to fireballtim.com and you can subscribe to the blog there. We got lots of really cool stuff that's happening. Lots of great stories, my ride of the week, and all kinds of other stuff. So thanks for hanging out with me today, and we will see you very shortly. Shortly.